Hello, boys and girls. This is your second book uh, that I will read to you this morning. It's entitled Trick or Treat. It's written by Bill Martin Jr., who's also the author of Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. I think many of you have probably heard of that. Mommy, I am ready to go. My, don't you look scary, my mommy says. You can go trick-or-treating, but only in our apartment building. I'll go with you. And remember, you can only knock on the doors of the people we know. And try not to scare them. As you can see, he's a scary little guy with vampire teeth. Up to the second floor. Knock on the knicker knocker's door. Trick or treat, says knicker knocker as he fills the bag with candy. Up to the third floor. Knock on Slipper Slopper's door. Trick or treat. Treat, says Slipper Slopper, as she fills my bag with peanut cups. One of my favorites, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Up to the fourth floor. Knock on Wiggle Waggle's door. Trick or treat. Treat, says Wiggle Waggle, as she fills my bag with tangerine drops. I'm not a big fan of tangerine drops. Up to the fifth floor. Knock on the Limber Lambert's door. Trick or treat. Treat, says Limbler Lambler as she fills my bag with a licorice twists. Up to the sixth floor, knock on the Fiddle Faddle's door. Trick or treat, treat, says Fiddle Faddle, as he fills my bag with peanut butter. Up to the seventh floor, knock on Pumper Pickle's door. Trick or treat, treat, says Pumper Pickle, as she fills my bag with caramel pops. Up to the eighth floor, knock on Thimble Thamble's door. Trick or treat, treat, says Thimble Thamble, as he fills my bag with chocolate sticks. Up to the ninth floor, knock on Teeter Totter's door. Trick or treat, treat, says Teeter Totter, as he fills my bag with jelly beans. Up to the tenth floor, knock on Magic Merlin's door. Trick or treat, trick or treat, knock, knock, knock. Trick or treat, still no answer. The door flies open and Merlin waves his magic wand at me. Now everything in w is a whack words. I'm trying to say backwards. Whack words. Merlin laughs as he slams his door on me. Down to the ninth floor. Knock on Totter Teeter's door. Trick or treat. Trick, says Totter Teeter as he fills my bag with belly jeans. Belly jeans? Down to the eighth floor. Knock on Thamble Thimble's door. Trick or treat. Trick, says Thamble Thimble, as he fills my bag with stalk -a latte chicks. Mm. Down to the seventh floor. Knock on Pickle Pumper's door. Trick or treat. Trick, says Pickle Pumper, as he fills my bag with caramel cops. Ooh. Down to the sixth floor. Knock on Faddle Fiddle's door. Trick or treat. Trick says Faddle Fiddle, as he fills my bag with peanut putter. Hmm. Down to the fifth floor, knock on Lamber Limbler's door. Trick or treat. Trick, says Lamber Limber, as she fills my bag with trickless lists. Hmm. Down to the fourth floor, knock on Waggle Wiggle's door. Trick or treat. Trick, says Waggle Wiggle, as he fills my bag with Drangerine tops. Hmm. Down to the third floor. Knock on Slopper Slipper's door. Trick or treat. Trick, says Slopper Slipper, as she fills my bag with sea nut pups. Down to the second floor. Knock, knock, knock on Knocker Knicker's door. Trick or treat. Trick, says Knocker Knicker, as he fills my bag with bandy cars. <laughs> Down to the first floor, knock on my apartment door. Trick or treat, treat, says my daddy, as he hugs me in his arms. But daddy, look at my backwards candy, I cried. Looks yummy to me, he laughs. A mountain of candy, candy bars, peanut cups, tangerine drops, licorice twists, peanut butter caramel pops, chocolate sticks, and jelly beans. Now that was a good trick or treat experience. Lots of good candy. The power of my daddy's hug had broken the backward spell. We laughed and laughed and laughed. 
We ate and ate and ate, and we never saw Merlin again. So I hope he never goes back up to that 10th floor again. And look at all of that candy. Trick or treat.